ナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツナモミダブツ Hello, and welcome to the Tri State Denver Buddhist Temple's YouTube Sunday service for April 4th, 2021. We are really glad you're here to be with us today to hear the teachings of Shinran Shonen and say the Nembutsu with us all. Today, service order will be Jusei Gei. Jusei Gei can be found on page 57 in the Blue Denver Service Book. We will then have a reading of The Three Treasures, which is found on page 106. And then we'll have the three treasures in Japanese known as the Raisanmon. You can find that in the description below. And finally, there'll be a Dharma talk by me, Reverend Caitlin Masher Mace. I'm really happy that you guys all came and visited us today. And please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And if you don't have the Blue Denver Service Book, it's in a PDF version in the description below. Be safe, be healthy, and we'll see you again soon.
。大戦の感動、国書天に、と Three treasures. Hard is it to be born into human form? Now we are living, living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we hear it. If we do not deliver ourselves in the present life, no hope is there that we shall be freed from suffering and sorrow in the ocean of birth and death. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and become aware of his supreme teaching. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depths of his doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in the life of harmony. In a spirit of universal brotherhood, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriads of culprits, how is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine? Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teaching. Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Notes, Namo Notes. Lai Sammon Ninjin Ukegatash, Ima Sudeni Uk Bupo Kikigatash, Ima Sudeni Kiku Konomi Konjo ni Mukate do Sezumba, Sarani Isre no Show ni Mukateka, Konomi o do Sen Daishu Morotomo ni Shishin ni Sampo ni Kieshi Tatema Tsurubesh Mizukara Butsu ni Kieshi Tatema Tsuru まさに、願わくは、主情と共に、大道を大下して、無常意を起こさん。自ら、法に消えし、立てまつる。まさに、願わくは、主情と共に、深く、共造に入りて、知恵、海のごとくならん。
自ら層に消えし立てまつる。まさに願わくは市場と共に大衆を通りして一切無下ならん。無常人人未妙の法は百千万号にも愛おうこと形し、我今検問し従事することを得たり、願わくは如来の真実義を決し立てまつらん。ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、ナモアミダブツ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ。Please join me in Gasho for a reading from the Shozu Matsu Wasan, Wasan's 95 through 97. Each of us shows an outward appearance of being wise, good, and diligent. Possessing so much greed, anger, and wrong views, we are filled with all kinds of deceit. My evilness is truly difficult to renounce. The mind is like serpents and scorpions. Even doing virtuous deeds is tainted with poison, and so is called false practice. How shameless and unrepentant a person I am, and without a heavy heart of truth and sincerity. But because the name is transferred by Amida, its virtue pervades the ten directions. Namo Amida Bits. Namo Amida Bits. Namo Amida Bits. Namanda Bits. Namanda Bits. Namanda Bits. Namanda Bits. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the first YouTube service for the month of April. We're really glad that you could join us today. So, it's a bit of a heavy quote to start off a Dharma talk with, but I have to make a confession. I lied to someone this week, I lied directly to their face. I'm going to I'm gonna get to it in a minute. So, the, this wasan. Was written by Shinran near the end of his life. And it was, in many ways, the laments of the divergences he saw from the strict interpretation of this Nembutsu teaching, but also the laments and his own failings in being able to truly follow this Nembutsu teaching. And to that end, why this Nembutsu teaching, the Namo Amida Butsu practice, which we do here within Jodo Shinshu Buddhism, is so important. And why, instead of the merit building activity of schools like Tendai and Shingon and other Japanese Buddhist Pure Land schools, that this school, Jodo Shinshu, and its change of direction, looking towards Amida Buddha and saying the Nembutsu, knowing that the great merit storehouses of this practice is open to us and why that is so important. So, taking a closer look at what Shinran wrote here. He says, My evilness is truly difficult to renounce. The mind is like serpents and scorpions. Shinran here is admitting that himself, that he cannot not be the evil person, not not be Bonbu, not not be, and there's a lot of double negatives in here, so I apologize, but he is incapable of being good. And of seeing the world as it truly is. And so many of us walk around and we say, we are good, we are righteous, we make the right decisions. Look at everything I've done. I spend my time going and handing food to homeless people, I protest the right way, I do everything. Look how great I am. And so this leads into the previous wasan. Each of us shows an outward appearance of being wise, good, and diligent. And I guarantee that every one of the people that are watching this video, you're wise, good, and diligent people. I'm not saying you're evil people, but I'm also saying you're evil people. It's a dual fold thing. And so you're not evil in that you're going off and drowning kittens, and please don't ever do that. But we're evil in the fact that we don't actually know how our actions affect people. 
And so we do the things that we think we understand in our limited view of the universe as good. And I think there's very few people out there who say, I'm going to go do evil today. They're doing what they think is right for them and the people around them. It's a very rare person that wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go do evil things that make me and everyone else feel bad. From their point of view and their perspective and their causes and conditions, no matter what horrible thing someone does, they think they're doing it for good reasons. And this is a really hard thing to see because sometimes these horrible things may be done to us. When I was young, I was terminated from a job because of my LGBT status. And I hated those people for that. That being said, they probably thought they were doing the right thing. They thought they were protecting themselves and other people from an evil that they viewed that I possessed. So it's not mine to forgive them, but it's mine to maybe understand what they're doing and why they did it. And in the end, if this person, if these people are broken down on the side of the road, I'd like to think that I'm a big enough person to pull over and help them change a tire or give them a ride to a gas station. I hope I'm that person, but it's hard for me to say that I always would be. And so in saying this to you, I'm also fulfilling what Shinran said here. Each of us shows an outward appearance of being wise, good, and diligent. And yet inside, I'm still really mad at those people for terminating my job and for ruining a career. Now, things ended up the best for me because I'm here today and this is my best life, but I still possess so much greed, anger, and wrong views. I am filled with all kinds of deceit. I'm a liar. So as some of you know, being uh, the assistant minister here at Tri-State Denver Buddhist Temple, I still work a full-time job because I'm a, I'm an seminary student and everything else. And so I still work as a paramedic in Weld County, Colorado. And this week I had a patient with a massive heart attack. And this patient looked at me and said, are you, am I going to die? And I looked at them and said, no, you're going to be fine. No worries. You're not going to die. You will be 100% okay. You're in my care. No one in my care dies. I lied to that person to their face. I did not know in that moment whether they were going to live or die. In fact, a big voice in the back of my head said, get ready, they're going to die. And I instead looked them in the eyes because I thought it was the right thing to do because it's a no consequence statement. No, you're going to be fine. And if they did die, it's not like they're going to be able to yell at me. But I lied because I thought I was doing good. I was looking outwardly wise, good, and diligent. I'm the good, diligent, and wise paramedic. So you're going to be fine. I promise. Now, in this case, the patient is fine. We got, we got them to the hospital and they were able to put a uh, stent in their heart and open it back up and they're breathing and alive right now. So I wasn't made a liar by my lie, but it doesn't change the fact that I lied to a person because I thought I was doing good. Would I make that lie again? Absolutely. I'm not going to tell a person that they could die. That's messed up. But it's not an enlightened action. I was doing it out of my own greed, anger, and ignorance. I was greedy in the fact that I didn't want to watch someone be hurt by me telling them the truth. I was angry over the thoughts of what would happen if I had told them the truth. And I was ignorant to what the outcome of this is going to be. This is why we are foolish beings. And this is why Shinran laments. Each of us shows an outward appearance of being wise, good, and diligent. But I possessed so much greed, anger, and wrong views. I was filled with deceit. So there's a lot of polarization that's still happening. And I know some of us thought an election would happen and polarization would end. But that is not the nature of how things are. And we're all very good at looking the other side and saying, you're my enemy. But they look at you and say the same thing. You're my enemy. And it's because we all walk around with our eyes closed. And I'm not saying that anyone should ever tolerate 
any abuse that's thrown to them physically, verbally, anything else. Stand up for yourself. Be a strong person and support those around you who are weaker than yourselves. But understand each person who throws an insult at you, a curse at you, throws a brick at you, they think they're doing something good. They may not be, but they think they are. And so try to see things from their perspective sometimes. And I get that this is insanely hard. I'm a gay person in America. I, I get it. And while 95% of the time people can't tell that by me walking down the street, I can tell you when they find that out, they let me know about it. And they've let my family know about it. But the compassion of the Buddhas is the compassionate for all beings. Shinran said, if the Nembutsu is meant for a good person, how much more so is it meant for the evil person? How much more so is it meant for the bad person? And the one qualification I can say is I can't tell you who the good person and the evil person is because I am always the evil person and the Nembutsu was made for me. And so that's where we get into the last bit of the wasan Shinran said. How shameless and unrepentant a person I am. I won't say sorry for lying to that person. I won't say sorry for being mad at the people that fired me from my job when they find out I was gay. I won't say sorry for standing up to people that yell at my friends or treat them badly. But I am not a good person for those actions. I am just human. There is no qualitative difference between me and them. It's just my causes and conditions and karma are different. And without a heart of truth and sincerity, because the name is transferred by Amida, it is the virtue that pervades all ten directions. And because of this, even though I am the evil and bad person, I will be saved by Amida Sama through the Namo Amida Butsu in the infinite merit storehouse, which Amida spent kalpas building specifically for you, specifically for me, for all living beings, will be open to me, and birth in the pure land will be assured. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Live your lives and stand up for those that are weaker. Ask for help when you don't know something. And know that no matter where you go and how dark it looks at any one moment, the Nembutsu is always there for you and can be on your lips. And in the end, your birth in the Pure Land is assured. Please join me in Gasho. Each of us shows an outward appearance of being wise, good, and diligent. Possessing so much greed, anger, and wrong views, we are filled with all kinds of deceit. My evilness is truly difficult to renounce. The mind is like serpents and scorpions. Even doing virtuous deeds is tainted with poison, and so it is called false practice. How shameless and unrepentant a person I am, and without a heart of truth and sincerity, but because the name is transferred by Amida, its virtue pervades the ten directions. Namo Amidabuts. Namo Amidabuts. Namo Amidabuts. Namandabuts, 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 Namandabuts.